Chapter 11 deals with non-right triangle trigonometry. And we're going to start with the law of cosines. The thing to know here and to notice and to make sure that you're conscious of is this, whatever side goes over here, its opposite angle is what we're taking the cosine of. Law of sines could be written either this way or all the sines could be on the bottom. It's essentially setting up proportions between the angles and the sides. To use the law of sines, you have to know an opposite side and an angle. And similarly to the area problem that we did in the last section, it is possible to get two solutions if we're using two sides and the not included angle. It's possible to get two different triangles that have the same proportion of sine of the angle to the side. And you just have to check that out as you're going through problems. So here I want to solve for angle C. Since we have three sides, we're going to have to use the law of cosines. So we start with 7 squared equals 5 squared plus 8 squared minus 2 times 5 times 8 cosine C. So a little manipulation gives us that the cosine of C is one half. That means that C needs to be 60 degrees. If this didn't come out nicely to an, a number on our unit circle, we just have to use inverse trig to figure out what C would be. Find the length of AC. Since it's opposite angle B, I'm going to label that side with a little b. And since we don't have three sides here, I'm going to be using law of sines. I have this opposite pairing of side and angle. So sine 39 over 12 equals sine 58 over B. And rearranging this, we get that B is equal to 12 sine 58 divided by sine 39. And we can plug this into our calculator and get what side B is equal to. And I'll leave you guys to do that. This is 56 degrees. So find the measure of angle L in this triangle. First thing we should do is draw the picture so that we know exactly what we're looking at. LKM is 56. LM is 16.8. And KM is 13.5. So this is a law of science problem. So L is equal to the inverse sine of this stuff. And it's important here that you do not round the sine of 56 and then take the inverse sine of that rounded number. It's important that you use your answer command in your calculator to store this information and continue to use the big long decimal. And we get that L is equal to 41.78 degrees. Now remember with the law of sines, it is possible to get another one that works. So in this problem, 
we could also have that L is equal to 180 minus 41.78. One thirty-eight point two two. I guess I rounded this wrong, didn't I? This should be point seven seven, and this should be point seven point two three. But the deal is with this: if we add up one thirty-eight and fifty-six, that's bigger than one hundred eighty. That one isn't physically possible, so this triangle only has one solution for that angle. For this example, again, draw a picture, ABC. AC is 7, AB is 11, angle B measures 25, sine 25 over 7 equals sine of C over 11, so C is equal to the inverse sine of 11 sine 25 divided by 7. And here we get 41.61 degrees. But because we did law of sines, it might be possible that there's another angle that would work. So we have to do, we could also say that C is 180 minus 41.61. Which is 138. Point three nine degrees and if we take that and add it to 25 that does leave us with some angle left over from the 180 for that third angle angle a so this is a problem type that gives us two answers both of these are valid solutions